Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a pattern similar to this and show you how to make it affect a square. Now, we probably have to break that down into two different sessions. We're going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is make a new document, and it's going to be a standard size. And the first thing I want to make in that document is a square with no fill. So I'm going to turn off that fill, and I'm going to make a square. The square can be tiny. Um, it's okay, this one's pretty darn small. Now, the whole point of this making a square is I'm actually going to try and set up a tessellating type of pattern. There's a couple ways to do this because the truth is all it takes to make a pattern is to select something and drag it over here into the uh, swatches panel. If your swatches panel is not up, you can go to window and swatches. So, um, honestly, to just make a pattern, all you have to do is just grab something and um, once you grab it, you drag it into there, and it will appear right there, and then it becomes a pattern, and you can fill something with it. But honestly, a square is not what we want. We want something more complex. So let's see how we can figure that out. I'm going to start with a square like this, and I'm going to duplicate it out. I'm going to make a copy of it right next to it by holding down Alt, and if I hold down Shift at the same time, it'll make a duplicate. And then I'm going to take those two, and I'm going to drag them down, hold down Alt and Shift, so that I create four squares. Now I highlight all of these, okay, right click or control click on the Mac, and we're going to do a Make Guides. When you do that, turn to these guides. Now these are going to help us arrange our design. Now in this other pattern here, I created this basic little symbol. It's kind of like a little flower. No big deal. I could do something like that again. The way I did it was just um, I drew a little curve and then I used my width tool to make that do something different. And I might, I don't know, let's see, put a circle on it. And um, maybe this time I'll also put some little white circles on top of that. So that circle there, I'm going to make a white ring. So you can see how that goes. And maybe I'll lower it down a bit. And yeah, maybe put it over. There you go. Yeah, like that. And then we'll, do, we'll see if we can duplicate that. Let's see. I'm duplicate that and put it out here. There we go. Yeah, I think I like that design. Now, this design here, right? What I can do is I can group it, so I'm going to group it, and then I'm going to bring up my appearance panel. Now, my, right now my appearance panel is out here. I really want my appearance panel to be uh, more prominent, so I'm going to drag it and put it beside all this. So now I have this um, set up here, and what I can do is I can add, for example, a fill to that one thing. Let's see. Let's make it a green fill. Um, yeah, green fill. And you see how you can actually work the entire thing as one giant item. If you don't like that, um, you can um, see if you can duplicate some of these facets to create your design. So in my case, uh, I think I'm going to grab this pattern here and I'm going to duplicate it out and we'll transform it. Let's see, how about we do a reflection. So the reflection tool is over here. I can choose O to get there, or I can go to the reflect tool and I can reflect that um, around, see how that works. I don't really want to do that in this case, I'm just going to do the object, transform, reflect. And if you look, these work backwards and they do, um, in Photoshop, they, you know, horizontal means it's going to flip this way. So you want to flip it vertical in this case, right? And then maybe I want to rotate it, so I'm going to rotate this. And let's see if I can rotate that object here. And just try and get it to, my goal is to line it up. Let's see, something like that. Yes. And what I want to do is see if I can get it to line up with this other one. Yeah, something like, something like that, let's see. All right, so this will be my shape. And honestly, you can create any shape. This is just the one I came up with. 
All right, so now I'm going to take this shape and I want to duplicate it, but I'm going to go ahead and group it. And another thing, oops, you can do is um, you can uh, just grab it and hold out Alt and drag copy. So this copy of it is going to serve me to create my design. So I'm going to put it here, and my goal is to make sure that it's kind of even right here at the bottom and on the right over here. I need to shrink it down, so I'm going to hold on Shift, Constrain Proportions, and make sure it doesn't cross over that, that line there. So here's my little shape, and I think that's pretty. I could add stuff to it, I could change its colors, I could do all sorts of stuff to, with it, but right now I'm not worried about that. Now I want to go ahead and duplicate it again, so I'm going to Alt, drag it, and this time I'm going to Object, Transform, Reflect, and I'm going to reflect it vertical, and Object, Transform, the reflect, I'm going to do a horizontal. And I'm going to place it up in the top corner. So, so now these things jump past each other. So now I'm going to take those two and I'm going to drag a copy out from them. And we'll put that in the same position. And we'll do object transform, this time reflect. And this time I need to do vertical. So you can see how how they're going to fit into place. All right? And just checking that out, seeing how that looks. Okay, good. And then I take those two sets and bring them down, holding down Shift. And I'm just checking out that distance, maybe. Yeah, and then we'll do an object, transform, and reflect horizontal. So we end up making this pattern. Um, at, at this point, I, I could add some other things, but I, I don't think I'm going to deal with it. I think I like the way it looks now. Now, depending on the size you made this originally, you can see that this is a pretty small pattern, right? Uh, this is the point at which you can turn this into a pattern. So I'm going to highlight these. Okay, and don't worry about your guides. They won't end up being highlighted. And then I'm going to drag them in to the swatches panel. Now, if I were to fill, it's going to fill that exact same size. So if I take a rectangle tool and make a giant rectangle, and I decide I wanted to fill it with that last swatch I made, it's the exact same size. So what you might want to do at this point is to scale yours down. So I'm going to go back and just duplicate this guy. I'm going to duplicate him out. I'm going to shrink him down really tiny. And... I'll drag that into my pants panel. It's not a big deal to have an extra one. So now if I click on that one, I can then replace it with the second one I made. So now I have a smaller pattern. Let's zoom in on that. Ooh, too far. Yeah. Interesting pattern. Yes, I like it. So what I want you to do is see if you can create a pattern and get it into your swatches panel and then save your document. I want you to also recognize that when you save a pattern to a swatch inside a document, it will open up whenever you go inside that document again. So I would save this one as pattern and move on.